Sometimes intellectual ignorance is an amazing thing. We about to dig into the crates on this one. Yo, what's up everybody, how you doing? This is your coach Renz, and I wanna take a few minutes just to talk to you guys uh, about some ignorance that continues to astound me that I would think people have gotten over by now. Now, as I dug into the crates, up, oh, nope, 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 first, let me thank all my subscribers and everybody on Patreon. I thank you for being here. I thank all my subscribers. Let me give my gratitude first. Now, here's the thing that's intriguing me. If you look at this comment, now I did a video pool patty and when I did the pool patty video, I did it in my character voice as Jeb. Now, for any of you guys who know me closely, you know that I have several character ver character voices. There's one that's going to be loaded or is already loaded uh, with story time with an alchemist, especially many of my story time with an alchemist. You know that there are character vo character um, voices that I do. Jeb happens to be one of them. So when my pool patty video, I did Jeb. A lot of my movie reviews, I do Jeb. As the, as the voice. If you listen to a lot of the videos I do of story time with an alchemist, the, vo the voice is um, oftentimes their Indian story, so I do an Indian voice. I can do many different voices, but one of the things that astounds me is comments like this, that all of a sudden they're attributing, if you have a country type of speaking, they're attributing that to slavery. And I, I first, before I wanted to do this video, I asked the question, explain yourself because I didn't want to make an assumption but since goose step which goose stepping is a form of marching from the Nazis so I don't know who this person is but it amazes me at the ignorance of so-called intelligent people who assume that because of the way you speak determines your mentality or slavery how in the Sam hell does speaking in a deep southern or Texan accent creates slavery, makes you sound like you're in slavery. I understand what they have put in front of you as far as movies, but here's the thing about that Southern draw. Hell is real. That's how Southerners talk, and especially in very rural area. Now, you may not see that in me because I grew up in Atlanta and I grew up on the north side of Atlanta, where many people on the north side of Atlanta don't have a deep Southern accent. The only reason I have some semblance of a Southern accent is because my mother's side of the family and my father's side of, well, my mother's side of the family comes from Carrollton, Georgia. My father's side of the family, they come from Marietta, but they, you know, it may, when Marietta was country, they come from there. But my mother's side comes from Carrollton, Georgia. Guess what? They have a deep Southern draw in Carrollton, Georgia. I say a, a <laughs> I say a Dunlap tire. They say a Dunlop tire. Okay? So, it's different. It's different. But guess what? My uncle Aubrey Lee, who was the chief of police out there for a while, who owns tons of land, who invested his money very wisely so that after he passed on, his, his wife didn't have to worry about anything. She didn't have to work or do anything. Yeah, he was a very intelligent man. His style of speaking did not determine his intelligence. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite customers, and I had to think about this. I, I know last year is when I made up the Jeb voice, and I had to really think about where could that have actually come from. And I remember that one of my clients, one of my customers who comes into my gourmet popcorn shop, that's Uncle Ren's popcorn, who comes into my shop, that he wears overalls every day. That he wears the little brown boots every day. That he has this beat up NASCAR looking hat that he wears every day. He looks as country as you want to call him. He talks with a deep because he is from LA. That's lower Alabama, Mr. Ignorant Intelligence, Intelligence Ignorance. He comes from lower Alabama. And in lower Alabama, and he's, he's from a small, small town in lower Alabama. But I only see him by the way once a month or so. You know why? You know why? Because this man used to work for NASA. He used to work on turbines. And now he works around the world working on wind and undersea turbines. He's one of the foremost authorities on constructing and developing underwater and wind turbines. 
but you, sir, would say that he's only three days away from slavery because of the way he speaks. Because his southern draw, his way of talking, his colloquialisms are much, 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 much harder and deeper than what Jeb does. It is that pure ignorance to think that because of a way a person speaks, that that determines their intelligence and that that puts them in a category that you would say is slavery. When are we going to stop judging people based on superficial things? If you, sir Goose Dip, are part of the conscious community, please get out because your conscious awareness is not there. You see, consciousness means that you are aware, that you have an awareness. And an awareness would say that you dig deeper than the surface of things. Matter of fact, there's a comment on one of my other videos. I can't think of it right now. But in that comment, Miss Hill. She tells the story about this other lady who gives an understanding of perspective that if you're on the first floor in an apartment, you your perspective of what's around it, your conclusions of what's around you is one thing. But if you didn't elevate to the sixth floor, that your perspective and your conclusion changes. Nothing else has changed. Only your elevation has changed. That serves what consciousness is really about. It's about elevating yourself to realize that the way a person looks, the way a person speaks has zero bearing on exactly their mentality or their intelligence. It only does when the person chooses to. If the person chooses to be a gangster, then they dress like one. If a person chooses to be thug nation, then they dress like one. If a person chooses to be a whore, slut, gigolo, and they dress that way, it's because they chose to. But they chose the attitude, they chose the mentality before they chose the dress. The way a person speaks is dependent mostly on where they grew up. If that same gentleman who grew up in lower Alabama, LA, had grown up in Wisconsin, but still followed the same pathway, still had the same life, then guess what? He would speak differently. He would speak like he's from Wisconsin. And he would, he'd probably be a cheesehead or something like that. But he wouldn't be a jail. He wouldn't speak and say that, yeah, I, I travel all over the world. This is how he speaks. I travel all over the world. And I work on them wind turbines, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm out there on them platforms for a very long time. That's how he actually speaks. But you, sir, would think that he's three days from slavery. Hell, you probably think he's still in slavery. We got to stop that, people. How do we expect to progress in this world? How do we expect to be able to create a better place, a better consciousness, a better universe if we will sit up here and judge people based on something so superficial as the way they speak, as the way they talk? Sure, there are certain voice inflections that can let you know things. Pool Patty, her voice inflections let you know that she's depressed, that something's depressing about her. But, that has, but the way she spoke has nothing to do with her intelligence. The fact that, and somebody phrased it properly because I didn't, when I made that video, I hadn't seen the full video that the can't get along gang, which is all the other people who could have ignored her, could have done it to handle the situation differently themselves. They all had a way of speaking. Should I judge them too? Matter of fact, I hope you go to England one day. People in America tend to think that people who speak with a British accent, that they're very intelligent. That when they sold a little baby who was saying, oh, he bit my finger. And when you hear a British person speaking, we often think that a British person, they're so very intelligent because of their way of speaking and command of the British language, of the English language in the British form. But if you actually go to England, sir, and speak to many of the people, you will find that they are just as intelligent or just as ignorant as your statement. And that many people, just because they have a British accent, does not necessarily mean that they're intelligent. I've spent many years in going back and forth to London and going up to every other areas like Mildenhall and finding that the ones who live in Cambridge are not all intelligent simply because Cambridge is there and the school that's there. So speaking in certain accents, certain vernaculars has absolutely nothing to do with your intelligence. So therefore, I want you to understand that no matter what accent I use, no matter what type of speaking that I use, it has absolutely nothing to do with their intelligence, sir. That you just make up things simply because you just have certain certain perspectives yourself. Maybe you'll need to move from the sixth from the first floor 
and go up to the fifth floor, sixth floor, seventh floor. I don't know. Maybe you know these things. But what I do know, man, is that you need to figure out what's going on, guy, with your own mind. You sitting up here just making making things up, boy. I see people every day. They come into my store. They have a huge Jamaican accent or from some other Caribbean island. But guess what? I don't look at any one of them and think that they are some kind of drug dealer or something like that, man. And you know, even when I went over, you know, I went to Italy, you know, the Italians, you know, I saw the Italians over there, you know, and just because I see that they're Italian, you know, I don't think they're every Italian is some kind of goomba, you know, that they're in some kind of mafia or something like that. You know, they're just regular people, you know, doing their thing, living their life. And, and none of them really speak with a heart like an Italian New York kind of accent. It's a little, you know, that one's a little different, you know. So it doesn't matter. So get, get put your head out of your ass, man. Pull your head out of your ass because that makes no sense. It makes no sense. The way a person speaks, accents, dialects, what does it matter? It doesn't matter. See? It's boring. It's kind of daft. You know, I can also go and get into my more kind of a Scottish, Irish accent. It's a little bit different. Sometimes I fluctuate and I don't even know that I'm doing it. It depends on the word that I'm speaking. And you can do this all day. What? What? Just because I speak like this, does this mean I'm an alcoholic? Just because you go to Ireland or you go to Scotland, it doesn't mean that everyone there is an alcoholic. But some people will take that perspective and think that everyone there is an alcoholic. And then they use words like perspective. And because they use that word, you think that maybe they're a little bit more intelligent, but really not. It's just a common word that they use there. And anybody who grows up there or spends a lot of time there will start using that word. You know why? Because wherever you are, you begin to speak somewhat like those people. I know many people who have lost their accent because they came to America. And all of a sudden, their Irish or their Scottish accents has changed. So you need to stop listening to someone's dialect and determining that that is slavery. Because many people who speak with a Southern accent are very intelligent. As a matter of fact, the gentleman who made the Super Soaker, he's born and raised here in Atlanta. And he was a rocket scientist at NASA. So your ideas are ignorant. And just to throw you a last one. Um, sometimes I'm working on a cartoon and there's a person named Maria. And Maria's a very sweet girl. And although her voice is coming out of this big black man and I'm not lip syncing this at all, that this is actually coming out. Just because if I was someone who spoke like this, then you were the kind of person who would think that I was some little crazy person or that I was some little girl. And that is, is absolutely insane that I'm speaking this way. But guess what? I do. I can. You know why? Because I like doing voices. And me and my son and, and then me and Kevin and, and some other people were working on cartoons. And these are some of the voices that you're going to hear on these cartoons. And just because you hear me speaking like this, guess what? It means absolutely nothing. And you should stop being ignorant now because I'm only a little girl. Then I can't use the curse words that I want to use. Otherwise, I get in trouble. So I'm not going to do it. Okay? Y'all have a great day. Remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable.